Sports. Staying with our commitment to keep you informed during Decision 2024, we've invited every candidate for federal office into our 12 new studios. Today we're taking a look at Congressional District 5, which covers Gilbert, Queen Creek, parts of Chandler and East Mesa. It's seen as one of the most conservative districts in our state. We interviewed Democratic candidate Katrina Schaffner last month, and today we're talking to the Republican incumbent, Congressman Andy Biggs. Congressman, thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Uh, you've been in Congress since 2016. Let's start with the border. I know you've had a lot of discussion uh, about the border since that time. If there could be an Andy Biggs border bill that would pass, what would be the main points of that bill? It would probably look a lot like H.R. 2, which uh, at one time or another, I introduced every one of those pieces of legislation. They got kind of put together, uh, and that would include things like taking care of the Flores issue decision, uh, taking care of uh, Title 42, uh, uh, to making sure that MPP, uh, which is the Remain in Mexico policy, could be uh, advanced. We'd probably actually add some additional things in there. You have to um, incentivize uh, the the nations that won't allow us to return people to their nations. We have to incentivize that, so you have to figure out how you do that carefully. But uh, the wall would continue to go up. You would also have all of the infrastructure, Troy, that that stopped. I mean, so when you find out that maybe a third of the operable uh, or what should be functional cameras and, and uh, technology on the border, they're not even functioning, Troy. Yeah. So you have to make sure those are functioning too. Make sure you got agents in place, making sure you're taking care of the agents. So what about, uh, and it's been argued the exact number, we can just call it millions. What about the millions of people who are here now who came across the border illegally? What would you do with them? Well, I'd start with the people that have already had um, a due process, and they would have to be removed. So, so what I'm talking about is literally 1.5 million plus individuals went to uh, had their case go to court. They were ordered to be removed from the United States. They should be removed from the United States. They've had due process. So, how then would you, you do that, Congressman? The, uh, you know that that sounds like a massive undertaking. Would you put that on local police? Would there be a new federal agency? And you'd have to have judges too, right? I mean, you'd have to have people saying, yeah, this is the person, and now you have to go. Well, you already have a, an agency that's supposed to do it. They've, been not, they've not been allowed to do that, and that's the uh, ICE, Immigration Custom Enforcement. They have not been able to uh, uh, basically locate these people and remove them. And so you already have that agency in place, and so you'd use that agency to start. Um, and that, that's where you would begin and then you would go with the people that who are criminal aliens, and there's over, uh, even this administration has admitted, uh, admitted over half a million of those, 14,000 roughly, of those are convicted murderers. Uh, you've got rapists there. Those people should not be allowed in this country. Um, the problem that you have, Troy, and you kind of put your finger on it, is that this administration has actually released those people into the country. And so normally we would have detained them, and after they had their, uh, their hearing, denial, they, they would order re, uh, order to be removed, we would actually already have them in custody or we would have them someplace where we knew they were where they were. That's not the case now. We're going to have to find them again and remove them. It is going to be a massive undertaking. Well, no, There's it, no yeah, doubt about it. It sounds uh, very, very big. All right, so we've got less than a minute left. Economy, quickly, what would you do to bring down some of this inflation we're dealing with and get our economy going again? One minute. You have to you have to lo uh, loosen the restrictions that were put in place by the Biden administration on energy. Once energy g gets flowing again, and you could have that up and going within a year, prices will come down by about forty percent because that the price pressure that you feel is not all uh, a traditional inflation. It's uh, a lot of it's energy. So you take care of that forty percent, and then Congress has got to get its act together on spending and actually quit spending so much. We have a two and a half trillion dollar a year structural deficit, Troy. That's not a cyclical deficit. That's structural. You have to bring that down. And you do that by uh, regulatory relief. You do it by bureaucratic uh, uh, contraction. And you would also do it by making sure that your, your economy is flowing so it, can, it provides the tax revenue that you need. All right. Andy Biggs, Congressman, thank you for joining us now. And good luck to you on Tuesday. We'll talk to you again soon. Thanks, Thanks again. Troy.